Hi everyone, let's talk about Hazel English. Alicia Karipis, I don't know how to pronounce that last name, also known as Hazel English, has been making music since the latter half of the 2010s, ranging from the usual dream pop, of indie pop, of dream rock and indie rock, stuff that an artist diving in that realm could either be very derivative at or be very interesting at. I would argue Hazel English can fall into the interesting category. She has been teasing towards this album ever since the 2019 single, Shaking, and there have been three singles after that. Off My Mind, Comeback, Five and Dime. Just a short 10 track, 36 minute experience that's been getting a little bit of attention ever since this week wasn't really that exciting. And I gotta say, I wasn't really interested in listening to this album at first because for the most part, indie pop and dream pop and indie rock have pretty much been derivative and boring genres ever since the middle to late 2010s. And very rarely do interesting acts come out of that genre, but when they do, they're enjoyable when they last. So I've been kind of trying to avoid this, but curiosity got the best of me and I listened to this. And I am pretty happy that I did because this is actually a pretty good little indie pop album. Again, it's pretty short at 36 minutes and 10 tracks, but it starts off very glorious and glamorous with the opening track, Born Like, where the instrumentation builds up to this very illustrious crescendo with these reverbed guitars and her vocals that are just shining over this instrumental. And it lasts for a good two minutes, but every minute of it is just very delectable, very decadent. It is a great, an amazing way to start off this album. And then we get to the track Shaking, which is a great follow-up to this opening track. It still incorporates those reverb guitars, but this time it's a little more rhythmic. There are drums that are added into the mix more heavily. The chorus on this track is pretty catchy too. It is a little underwritten, but even for what it is, it's still fun to sing to. From here on out in the track listing, you get your tried and true indie pop songs, but sometimes there's a little bit of country mixed into the fold as well, especially on the track Five and Dime, also Milk and Honey. And while the country influences on these particular songs aren't incredibly forthcoming on first listen, the more you listen to this album and these songs in particular, the more they show up. What I also really enjoy about this album is that it actually kind of has a personality to it. It actually has a face and a character that I can attach itself to. Also, there is something to say about this album cover in relation to this album and the instrumentation. This album is very colorful. Not in a way that it pops out at you, but more in a way where all the colors kind of mix together to this really beautiful yet hazy rainbow. And there's a little bit of a psychedelic edge to this album too. Like I definitely see like some kind of psychedelic influence within these songs. There are some moments on this record where the Songs can feel a little derivative and can go on a little too long. For example, the song Combat, which is kind of a shame because I do see a lot of people online kind of like the song. But for me personally, it's one of the weaker moments on this record. I just feel like the instrumentation on this song in particular does not vary up as much as some of the other songs on this album do. And it kind of takes its time, but I kind of get bored listening to it. Like a drug and work it out as well, they kind of, again, take their time to progress. Work it out is an interesting way to close the album off on a somber note, so it isn't a horrible song, and there isn't a horrible or even bad song on this record. There are just some moments that feel a little too plain for my liking. And I do wish the songwriting on this record was a lot better. I definitely see there could be a lot of improvements on the songwriting front, but from the production angle of this album, you have a lot of these really dreamy songs that kind of cascade in a sea of reverb, flutter into something that is really gorgeous in a crescendo, or moments that are just really fun and kind of enjoyable to listen to. Like the title track as well as the first two songs that are just an incredible way to start off this album again. And I would like to see Alicia kind of be a little more ambitious with these songs. I would like 
more of a personality, more of a character. I would like better songwriting and maybe some songs on the same vein as those first two tracks. But again, there are some other moments on this record like Five and Dime that are very interesting too. So it kind of gives you a little bit of a different sound and different style, but still maintaining a very cohesive project. And it does have this problem where sometimes the songs can sound very similar and sometimes you don't have a lot to say about the album. But when it's on, it's very pleasant and I have a lot of enjoyment with this record. And for me personally, it's a very strong B+. However, I am curious to know what are your thoughts and opinions on this album down below. Let me know what albums you want me to review next, and that is it. Leave a like, comment, share, do whatever you want. Let me know how I can improve future videos down below. Remember, this is only my opinion, because music is subjective.